that's ISO. So first and foremost, let's start at the beginning. Surgery, I had to have my quadricep tendon reattached, which consists of them drilling the kneecap, threading those holes, and then cranking in anchors into those holes, screwing them in. And then they sew the tendon with a kind of like a thread pattern, and then they stitch that, they anchor that to the to the knee. I'm just coming off of surgery three weeks ago, so this is a topic that's fairly fresh in my mind. <laughs> and by no means am I an expert on pain management, but I've found a few things that you could find helpful to you. Uh, maybe some things to do, some things not to do. I've never really been into smoking weed. Uh, I don't know why, every time I feel like I put out a picture or a video, people are like, stoned. <laughs> I never smoke weed. I'm not into it. It's not really for me. Uh, but when it comes to being able to A, mitigate pain, but also rest, right? When you're recovering from an injury, rest is super important. And nighttime can get uncomfortable, especially, you know, in my case, I've got to sleep on my back. Spending eight plus hours in one position, ugh. <laughs> not the easiest thing. What I'll usually do at night is I'll cut in half one of these gummies. Per gummy, you've got 10 milligrams of THC, uh, 75 milligrams of CBD. So these are pretty strong. So I'll take half of one of these. I don't know, personally guys, like these are gummies. I think they taste disgusting. You're talking to somebody, I don't like the smell of weed. I don't like the taste of them. I don't wanna sit there and chew some gummy that tastes like fucking ass and marijuana tastes like ass to me. So what I do is I just kind of chop them up and put them in a clear gelatin capsule. Same thing, this stuff, this stuff stinks. I mean, it stinks like skunk, like, like weed does. Ugh, who would want that in their mouth? The use of Advil post-surgery, probably not a good idea. For the first three days post-surgery, I did use Percocet. After that, I didn't feel the need to use anything. Now, I'd be lying if I told you I didn't experience some discomfort, but I was not about to use Advil in response to it. I mean, we know now, based on some of the research, for three days post-surgery, you absolutely do not want to use an anti-inflammatory, but even more so for the first three weeks post-surgery. The avoidance of anti-inflammatories is probably the best idea. For me, Advil, was out. The only thing I did use that could be considered an anti-inflammatory, uh, but they say that in a lower dose it actually is not, is aspirin. And I wasn't using it for pain relief, instead as you know something to potentially inhibit clots, you know, which could be problematic post-surgery, especially you're not moving around a lot. So they suggested a baby aspirin once a day for the first two weeks. That's over and done with, Percocet. All done. One thing I would mention, if you're somebody who needs to lean on something like an ibuprofen, it has its own issues that come along with chronic use. Development of ulcers, it's bad for your stomach, not even great for the kidneys. Uh, Tylenol, you know, acetaminophen, although not an anti-inflammatory, you could use that if you're somebody who can't resort to the use of, of Percocet or something similar. Tylenol, really rough on the liver. Uh, there have been studies, I've got here this box of Essential Forte, which is uh, a preparation that consists of essential phospholipids. It's derived from soybeans, um, and they're phospholipids that actually help maintain the health, the fluidity uh, of the cell membrane. This particular product is meant to be used by people with cirrhosis of the liver, hepatitis, uh, to help the liver regenerate itself, but they've also found that it, that it has protective uh, properties in the liver, in the kidneys, a whole host of other organs. Um, because let's be honest, you know, the, the health of every single cell membrane in the body is reliant on phospholipids. So if you're somebody who needs to lean on ibuprofen, uh, acetaminophen, probably would be smart to include something like this to help protect the stomach, the liver, the kidneys, etc. Guys, I hope you found this at least a little bit helpful. Uh, if nothing else, maybe interesting. Don't find yourself in this situation. Don't get hurt. Do be careful. <laughs> but if it ever happens, hopefully something in here is at least a little bit useful. Until next time, I'll see you.